Mm, the biotic pump is a mechanism by which large forests can transport atmospheric moisture inland. So you see, when we have a big healthy forest on land, we have this transport of water vapor in the atmosphere and we have rains and we have rivers and life thrives on land. If we destroy forests, then we don't have this uh, flow and the flow can be reversed and the land becomes a desert and in this sense since we as a species as a human species have already destroyed more than half of our forest which we originally had say several centuries ago we need to take utmost care of the forest that remains because it is of crucial importance for our modern civilization. It does a very important work which we have at the moment don't quite appreciate. So, and we developing uh, this biotic pump concept, we have been able to quantify this, the power of this process and to show that it is indeed dominant in uh, securing water on land. And um, <clears throat> one of the biggest forests on Earth is the Eurasian forest belt, which uh, stretches from the Atlantic to the Pacific Ocean. It is seven, more than 7,000 kilometers. And this huge forest uh, um, virtually drives atmospheric rivers of moisture uh, through the entire continent. And it is our common legacy, our common treasure. So uh, right now deforestation in Russia is climbing and um, is rise on the rise. And this directly threatens European uh, nations because um, uh, forest on land is like an ocean and much moisture comes to the surrounding areas including agricultural areas in, in Western Europe and Central Europe. So uh, as a scientist I feel that all citizens of Eurasia and the Chinese also benefit from the this Russian forest moisture pump. We need to unite in our understanding of the importance of this forest and try to build some agreement protecting this unique uh, mechanism of unique complexity which ensures our well-being. It should be done very quickly because the forest is disappearing and disintegrating very rapidly. And uh, while people may say that it is regrowing, but uh, the new young forest doesn't have the same functionality as does the old growth, mature, well-developed forest. Like children at school cannot be compared to adult uh, specialists who, who support our civilization. We cannot leave the civilization to kids. They, it would be irresponsible. So when we cut mature forest and replace it with uh, young uh, tre uh, trees, which will have will need hundreds of years to stabilize again, we de are destroying this mechanism. So we need to urgently unite uh, around this task of protecting the remaining natural forest, not only in Russia but in the whole world, but for, for Eurasia, Russian forest is of critical importance.